Hey, Brian here, just checking in and uh, giving you an overview of the audience overview report in Google Analytics. And to follow along, you can always log into the demo account by Googling Google Analytics demo account and getting access to that. If you've seen some of my other videos, then you know that uh, we've been working on that from the start. Uh, so that's what we're looking at right now. And I'm going to look in a day range that is probably more comfortable for everybody in the last 30 days. By default, it's set to the last 30 days. It's just if you pop between views, because the calendar day goes with you. Um, what I want to start off right off the bat is just to go over the report, the default report you see when you log in. So we're looking at are these core metrics right here. Uh, some people live and die by things like sessions or page views. Um, you know, I think that's a great high level view, a great introductory point, and that's why I want to touch on them now. But I want you to know what they are. So a session is essentially anytime somebody opens up your website um, from a phone, from a computer, from any other device, um, the first time they arrive at that. The session lasts for as long as they have that open. So if they close their laptop and then never open up that laptop again, that was one session. If they exit out of a tab, like I will right here, boom, 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 uh, that would be the end of a session as well. Um, if, um, if you end up leaving the site but then coming back, or if you're looking at a site and you say I have to go, you throw it to your phone and I log into you know, one of my tabs that I have open right now, that's a new session as well. Um, users are slightly different. So a user is one person. Um, so you might say that there were 54,000 people that made up 67,000 sessions. So that means that about 20 plus percent of our sessions were people, people coming back to the site, which is really good. But a user could also be um, someone who is not logged in uh, to the same website on their computer and on their phone. So that example I gave right there where um, one person is on their computer and then they decide they need to run, start typing in your URL again onto their phone. If they're not logged into your site or anything like that, then Google Analytics can't reconcile that uh, sometimes. So it could be that there are actually more people coming back than you would think, or especially if people are have like spouses and they're like, hey, honey, can you check this out? That's a new user. Page views are really simple. Essentially, when the URL changes up here, that is a new page view. So if I click on any of these other reports, you'll see that this URL changes uh, in most cases, unless there are parameters up here that get added. Like for instance, if I was to change uh, one of these uh, one of these ta or one of these tables to say weekly, it might just add uh, some URL parameters up here, and that might not not actually be a new page view. Depends on how you're set up. But by default, essentially, whenever somebody goes to a new page, that's a new page view. Uh, if the URL changes, that's essentially a new page view. So pages per session is essentially just page pages viewed per session. Um, that means that on average, people went to four and some change pages before they left your site and their session ended. This is abnormally high, so I would not be surprised if yours is lower. Average session duration is just how long they were on the site, essentially. Um, it used to be called time on site, but I think average session duration is a slightly, um, it's a more descriptive name. Um, and like we talked about what a session is, just as long as I have your website open, um, that is what average session duration means. The caveat that I will say is that a bounce, if nothing happens where maybe they read your site for 10 minutes and they decide it's not for them, or maybe you gave them an answer to a question they had, um, they'll just leave your site and the the bounce or the average session duration will be zero because no more information was sent to Google Analytics. So on some pages, if you have a weird average session duration or if it's drugged down by bounces, that's why you know. Uh, bounce rate is essentially when somebody comes to a page, uh, the first page they see on your site, and then they leave immediately uh, before interacting with the database. And when I say interacting with the database, it might mean clicking a button that then is an event down here which we'll talk about at some other point. It could be filling out a form. It could be uh, scrolling past a certain point in your page that then triggers something. If they don't perform any of those, or if you don't have those set up, then somebody could be on your site for 29 minutes and 59 seconds, love it, and then leave, and it will look like they bounced. Um, and new sessions are essentially just the new, um, Let's see, an estimate of the percentage of first time visits. So if somebody is visiting for the first time, meaning a new user, uh, that is a new session. Um, the only other kind of session is a returning session. Uh, so that's why this is percent of new sessions. So that means that about 25% of sessions are returning users. So that's the overview right here. Um, we'll walk through some of these other um, 
dimensions in a new video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Uh, and if you'd like me to cover any other report in Google Analytics, let me know too. Thanks.